Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we go over who makes these different radiators, these different AIOs. Oh, yeah, we're going to go through that. Um, and I'll also um, let you hear the, the sound of the fans um, and the pump in the Corsair H100i Elite Capital X 240 AIO. And so you can judge uh, for yourself on the, on the sound. So what I'll do is I'll do a, a couple with the glass on here and then I'll actually take the glass right off and then you'll be able to get more of the sound. Um, and uh, yeah, just see if, if that kind of sound is gonna suit you. So, um, yes, what I would do is I would avoid any AIO that has the pump in the radiator. Now, not because it's in the radiator, but because of who is manufacturing these. And, oh, so let's get into it. You may have heard of Enermax. Yes, made by a company called Apal Tech, also Apal Cool. So A-P-A-L-T-E-K, all right? Or Apal Cool. Other companies that have Apal Tech make their AIOs, their radiators and AIOs. The NZXT Kraken M22, you will see the pump in the radiator and you will see that on their website. Okay, um, of course, the infamous MSI mag cord liquid C series, the 120Rs, 240Rs, and 360Rs. The Silverstone Stone Tundra TD02, TD03. All right, so that's that's some of them. So before you buy an AIO, of course, look at reviews. Look at reviews on Amazon. Look at pictures of it. Find out if the pump is in the radiator, and I would avoid those. Okay. All right. Um, now. When I got my MSI 240R, it said it had a one-year warranty. Now, the warranties differ depending upon what country you're in. Now, um, Corsair AIOs, uh, this one here, has got a five-year warranty on it. Okay, so, hello. Spend a few extra dollars on that, and uh, away you go. Now, I've got plenty of videos up about the cooling performance of this thing. Um, so just go into my channel, you just press the channel button and you can see my videos and you'll see several. Um, and it has phenomenal, as I've said many times, performance. Um, and a lot of that may have to do with the way that the cold plate is designed, okay? Um, it's got 128 fins per inch, so massive surface area to cool, all right? Now, it looks like a company um, called Cool IT uh, Systems or Cool It Systems in Canada may be making that cold plate for Corsair. Um, I had a look, and they do have a patented uh, a dual channel cold plate that looks a lot like the one on the Coursera website. So um, it has been published that um, Coursera does use some of cool IT systems um, gear. So hey, uh, it's not surprising actually. Um, but oh yeah, I just like it. I like that a lot. 
now. That's the split flow copper cold plate. Um, I ran across another, uh, some more information um, saying that yes, Apollo Tech has um, allegedly uh, have not been cleaning out their radiators properly with appropriate chemicals. Now, it has been brought to my attention um, that uh, Apoltec, um, I've seen some comments and those comments have allegedly said that Apoltec has uh, is infamous for uh, not cleaning out their radiators properly. Okay, after they're manufactured. Um, they use the term contaminated coolant. Well, I don't know if it's contaminated. It's, it's, it was pH 6.5 when I took it out after a month. Um, and that's not g a good pH because uh, bacteria love that pH. Copper corrosion like that pH. So, yeah, you, you want a pH ideally like around seven and a half to eight, um, but no, definitely not at 6.5. All right. Um, and, and the coolant was uh, cloudy and had suspended solids. Like I keep saying, I can show it to you again if you want to see it. <sighs> That's it. Okay. See if I bring it up any closer. I just may not focus on it. Let's see if we can get this to focus a bit better. It's trying to focus on my face. Okay, so um, there does not appear to be sediment on the bottom. Okay, sediment settling on the bottom. Okay, so that was only used for one month. Um, so in the um, apply for a swap um, issue, um, they talked about um, sediment issues. Okay, well, I'd imagine if this had been kept running for a few more months, there'd be a lot more solids there and there'd be sediment and yeah. So this is just the beginning, all right? One month. All right. So, um, yeah. So uh, at this stage, um, until we get more information, more improved information, uh, people are uh, more transparent, um, admit their mistakes, take steps to correct those mistakes. So I'll put some links in the description below about this Enermax failure. Okay. Um, I'll put a link about some of these uh, um, Apoltec uh, manufacturing for different companies. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, so th there's a, there's a warrant, there's a, a patent on having the uh, a pump in the water block, okay, in the pump head, um, which is by a different company called Asatec, okay, um, and they have the patent, so that's why you're seeing, uh, you can see pumps in, I've seen a pump in the, attached to the, um, hoses of the AIO um, that was in the Be Quiet. I've seen that in the Be Quiet one. So I don't know. Um, I have never used one of those. So I don't have experience using those. I haven't heard any complaints. Um, and you've got this one with the pump in the radiator. Uh, and uh, uh, the problem seems to potentially be with the actual radiator itself and the coolant. Okay, so let's have a look 
at the uh, Corsair. They call it the Corsair IQ H100i Elite Capilex AIO. Okay, CPU cooler. Um, and um, you can even use it on a thread ripper. All right, so it um, is tool free installation. Um, now, I did not install this myself because I exchanged the 240R that had failed on me. I exchanged it for the Corsair and had to uh, give a little bit of extra money, but oh, the, it's, it's worth every penny, really. Um, five year warranty. I have another Corsair AIO that's lasted over five years. Okay, so it was. Uh, computer was built at the beginning of 2017 um, and it's lasted all that. Never been removed, never been changed. It's always worked. Fantastic, okay? All right, so I've heard some comments about concerns with the Corsair fans, the Corsair pump, the noise and things like that. So um, when I got my old system uh, with the Cor Corsair AIO on it, um, 2017, the, I got it at the end of 2017. The system was actually built at the beginning of 2017. And the fan was a bit noisy, okay? It did not seem like altering the speed of the fan did a lot uh, uh, as far as cooling, cooling it, um, it cool it just as well. Of course, this was a 7700 CPU, an Intel, um, and uh, 65 watt. Um, it generally doesn't go over, say, 55 watts, really. Um, pretty typical 35 to 45 watts. Um, um, yeah, but it's lasted all these years, so the, the coolant is, is premium coolant um, and uh, um, obviously has uh, prevented bacterial growth. Okay, and um, so I switched the fan on that. It was a 120, it's a 120. Fit, I switched the fan with a Be Quiet fan and then, yeah, no problem. Um, even though I don't think that Be Quiet fan was designed for an AIO, um, it, it has enough um, air pressure to, to, to cool the system and do it quietly. These uh, fans, these, and, and it was a, uh, not an RGB fan on, on that system, so I could just get a, a, a simple fan and, and, and do that. Um, on this, uh, system. I'll sh I'll show you now um, with what you can do with these these fans, the different settings, and the different settings on the pump, and then we'll listen to the noise that it makes. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to stop these two fans. Yes, you can actually stop them. All right. So okay. So I've got the microphone about uh, six uh, inches or so from the glass. And uh, we've got the AIO fans turned off. We've got the uh, 3060 video card at 40% fans, okay. Um, and uh, we've got one extract fan, a 120 um, from Lee and Lee and two um, 200 millimeter fans running at about 800 rpms so that's what it's that's what it sounds like okay and you can um, set each fan individually if you wish as well so you could have one on extreme and one on not running or quiet or um, silent or balanced okay Coolant's at 30.5 degrees, um, so it warmed up a bit with the fans turned off. So that gives you a feel of the sound with the glass and everything.
the pump is set to variable. So let's let's go and I'm going to turn the fans off again. Okay, stopping now. Okay, so the the pump I leave at variable variable speed so I can just do whatever it likes. So I will put it on quiet. Haven't heard much of a sound change there. And now, um, and I can actually see on the graph that the pump speed has come down. Um, so we're at 2283 RPMs on the pump at quiet. And I will turn it up to extreme. So the pump has gone right up to 2700 RPMs and um, haven't heard much sound difference, but we'll, we'll do it with the glass removed. Um, okay, I'm just going to set the pump back to variable at this stage. Okay, so let me take the glass off. sounds like with the glass removed and the, the AIO pumps turned off, uh, pumps, the AIO fans turned off, the pump is still going at variable speed, currently at 2255 RPM on the pump. Okay, so let's go from the fans being off to the extreme level. Okay, the coolant is at 28.8 degrees, so it's a bit cooler than it was before. That's why the, the fans haven't uh, come up all the way. They're only at about 1600 at the moment. So um, what I may do is render a video here. Or maybe just put on Cinebench, eh? Fans are up now to 23 RPMs. They're the pump at 2660 RPMs. Coolant temperature is 31.8. And the average CPU, pa CPU package temperature is 71. So we're at 73 degrees, average CPU temperature. And that is with the glass installed. Now take the glass off again. And 
and Cinebench is just finishing up. Highest peak temperature was 82 degrees on Core 7. Peak core performance Core 7. So we're finished. 22,101 stock settings. So what I can do is I can overclock the frequencies and I can underclock or undervolt the voltage and um, get a much higher score than that. We're at 1500 RPMs on the fans, AIO fans, and for the pump, set up variable speed, it's 2250 RPMs. Coolant temperatures come down to 28 degrees C. So let me just turn the fans of the AIO off, put it into zero RPM mode. Okay, so the glass is removed from the case, AIO fans are off, and the pump is on quiet mode. Now I will take it up to extreme mode. Okay, so you can hear a little bit of a whining noise. at the extreme setting and it is at 2700 RPM the pump AIO fans on zero and now I'll put it on quiet mode again so that wind stops um, instantly for commenting and subscribing on my videos. Um, Mayor S. Sai, uh, thanks for subscribing and, and uh, commenting, appreciate that. Um, he had questions about the Corsair and switching from MSI to Corsair. Well, if you'd like to see a wide variety of technology videos, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. And thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. Don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.